Good morning and Jai Hind. I, Srishti Rani Marandi from Class Seven B, is going to explain the topic rotational symmetry. A shape has rotational symmetry when it still looks the same after a rotation of less less than one full turn. So it means that a shape can only have rotational symmetry when it looks the same as the original figure after a rotation of less than one full turn, which is three sixty degree. Let's see with an example. Here I have taken a rectangle. So when it is in zero degree, it looks like this. Let's see if it looks the same after some rotation of less than one full turn. So when I rotate it into ninety degree, it looks different from the original figure, which is of zero degree. And when I rotate it into one eighty degree, it looks the same as the original rectangle figure. And when it is rotated more to two seventy degree, it looks different from the original figure. And when it is rotated to three sixty degree, it looks the same as an original figure. So at one eighty degree and three sixty degree, it looks the same as the original figure, which is at zero degree. And it also looks the same under a less than one full turn, which is three sixty degree. So this figure has rotational symmetry. Now let's see what is the order of rotational symmetry. Order of rotational symmetry is the number of times. A figure fits into itself in one complete rotation. It means that the number of times a figure looks same as the original figure when rotated less than one full turn. So let's see with an example. Here I have taken a square. Now when I rotate it to ninety degree, it looks the same as original square. When I rotate it into one eighty degree, it looks the same. And when it is rotated to two seventy degree, it looks the same. As the original square, and when I rotate it to three sixty degree, it also looks the same. So in all the figure, it looks the same as the original square. So there are four figures, and in all the figures, it looks the same as the original square. So the answer will be that there are four order of rotational symmetry in square. Now the formula to calculate the order of rotational symmetry is three sixty degree divided by a degree. Here, a degree is equal to the degree of any one angle of any figure. Let's understand it more clearly by an example. So here is a figure. Let's take that one angle of this figure is one twenty degree. So three sixty degree divided by one twenty degree is equal to three. So the answer will be that there are three order of rotational symmetry in this figure. Now here are some important points to remember. This also comes in exams. So the first point is every shape has one order of rotational symmetry. So this means that every shape of figure, whether it has equal sides or not, it always or surely have one order of rotational symmetry, which is at three sixty degree. So the second point is every regular shape has as much Line of symmetry and order of rotational symmetry as much sides they have. So we all know that every regular figure has same sides. As they have same sides, they also have as much line of symmetry and order of rotational symmetry as much sides they have. Let's see with an example. Here it is an equilateral triangle, which is a regular figure. As it has all three sides equal, so there are three lines of symmetry, also three order of rotational symmetry. When we rotate at one twenty eight degree, two forty degree, and three sixty degree, it looks the same as an original equilateral triangle. So the answer will be that there are three lines of symmetry and also three order of rotational symmetry. So that was all about rotational symmetry. I hope you all have understood the topic very well. Thank you.